hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i am going to discuss checkpoint type of sql server checkpoint how to run checkpoint manually in sql server how to monitor checkpoint what is sql server checkpoint Suppose when a new row inserted, updated, deleted in your database, the SQL Server database engine first will keep that change in the buffer pool memory. Without applying each change directly to the database file, this data page located in the buffer pool memory not yet replicated to the database file are called a dirty page. The SQL Server database engine use a special kind of a process to write this dirty page to the data and log database file. This process is called checkpoint. Type of checkpoint internal checkpoint internal checkpoint trigger when you run database backup creating a database snapshot adding or reviewing database file a clean shutdown of the sql services manual checkpoint trigger when you run sql checkpoint command in direct checkpoint it run in a background if you set the recovery time interval for the database configuration automatic checkpoint also it run in a background to meet the time limit suggested by the recovery interval server configuration option let's connect with sql server management studio to show you manual automatic and indirect check Point. I will show you how to run manual, automatic and indirect checkpoint. I am going to show you how to monitor the checkpoint events in a SQL Server. I am using system function which is undocumented system function. From this function, I am getting current log sequence number, operation, checkpoint begin and checkpoint end. And I am passing condition here where operation like checkpoint. You can select all the column from function fndv log and pass the condition like checkpoint. Let's run this query. You can see that you have received current log sequence number, operation and checkpoint begin and checkpoint end also and description and log record also so this is the script which help you to find the and monitor the sql server checkpoint event in the current database now next i am going to show you manual checkpoint so manual checkpoint you can run using this syntax checkpoint and checkpoint duration checkpoint you can give here 16 second as a duration so let's check the current dirty page for the database let's run it and get the dirty page you can see that uh, most of the database have zero dirty page count let's perform some transaction on some of the database i am performing transaction on logs shipping database let's insert few records on that table now check the dirty page count and go to database log shipping you can see dirty page count now one so let's run this manual checkpoint now we run this to get a dirty page count you can see that for the database log shipping dirty page count cleared now it is 
0. So this how you can run a manual checkpoint. Now next indirect checkpoint. To indirect checkpoint you can configure on database level and it will run in background. When you specified in the database configuration setting related to recovery time interval, alter a database log shipping set target recovery time equal to 60 second. So once you set recovery time 60 second, it background it will run indirect checkpoint every 60 second. Now next automatic checkpoint and automatic checkpoint depend on the recovery interval of SQL server configuration. The value is measured in a minute and default value is 1. So you have to configure server level to set automatic checkpoint. You can run this and take current recovery interval for the equal instance. You can see configure value is 0 and maximum is 0. So you can change to 1 minute. Every 1 minute will automatic checkpoint will happen. Now you can check it here. It's change to config value is 1. So this is how you can set a run manual checkout, set in direct checkpoint and automatic checkpoint. And this is the script to get and find and monitor the checkpoint event in SQL Server. Thanks for watching SQL Guide. Please share, subscribe my channel.